probably one of your favorite videos coming right up and is how you can plan to entertain in your new backyard space. It is pretty much life changing and I speak from that from personal experience. I did a backyard space and I absolutely loved entertaining in it and have just grown to, it's really part of our lives now, is hanging out and enjoying our backyard space. So we're gonna talk to you all about how you can plan right now how to entertain your friends and your family and whoever in your backyard space. Enjoy. So the one little hint I want to start with is talk to your family and your friends right now about some of the possibilities that you guys would like to enjoy hanging out in. Do you want a fire pit? Do you want a fireplace? Do you want to have an outdoor movie night to be able to enjoy? Do you want to have a covered area? Do you want to have a hot tub? A lot of these areas, a lot of these thoughts are going to help not only you, but it's going to get a lot of people over and enjoying entertaining with you. Your friendships will grow in strength. You will just enjoy hanging out totally in your space. So asking, of course, your family and your friends what they would like, but really just taking the time to, to talk about it. What do you want to be able to do in your outdoor space? A lot of people are doing really fun stuff. It, it's gone beyond just the traditional, you know, grill, outdoor grill station. You can have a grill station, but you can have a smoker right next to it. You can have whatever grill surface you want for your outdoor space. You can have a refrigerator, you can have a wine cooler, you can have an ice maker. There's so many different things that you can think about for entertaining. But now we can start talking about outdoor TVs. They have become huge. Outdoor TVs lead to the guys watching football together or watching the game together. They also lead to outdoor movies with the family and friends. I have to say, these are the best, some of the best memories that I've had in my outdoor space. Those night, summer nights, they're the best under the stars watching an outdoor movie. So you can either do it with an outdoor movie, you can do it with an outdoor movie theater, and we're gonna show you some examples of that too.
Another thing to think about is water. So a pool, if you haven't done a pool, you might be considering a pool or you're considering a swim spa, which are very popular, or you're considering maybe even a hot tub. These are magnets for people and fun. So think about that. If you want to have that entertaining atmosphere, water is going to attract people like you would not believe. Yeah, you probably already do believe it because you're looking for it right now. Everybody ready? Stand up. And action! <laughs> we can do it. We can do it right. I don't know how. guys one of the benefits of having your own outdoor living space and your slide into a pool is the enjoyment with the kids of going down the slide it's kind of crazy head of slide and here we go kind of scary too <laughs> You can have a, a, a she shed or a man cave. These she shed or man caves are becoming very popular in colder climates where people want to be able to have a second destination to go out to. Of course, we have the play structures, of course, having young ones, we want to have a play structure. Maybe it's a trampoline. Trampolines, of course, are attracting lots of kids. You can do a trampoline that's very safe, as you're going to see in some of these shots right here. You could also think about what the adults are going to like. It could be cornhole for the guys. It could be putt-putt golf, you know, a little uh, golf green. It could be um, croquet. It could be horseshoes. A little horseshoe pit is very popular right now. And you also have the bocce ball courts were so popular. So think about all the different lawn games. We're going to show you lots more right now, but really you can go so many different ways with outdoor games for entertaining. So there's lots to this outdoor entertaining world that you want to think about right now. 
and I hope that we gave you some education on what to think about, some possibilities. But now we're going to start talking about how to soften the space. So I want you to plan your outdoor, your perfect outdoor space. You have to soften it with plants and trees and flowers. It's so important. We're going to talk to all about how to do that and lots of different ways to do that in the next video. Enjoy. Two, with entertaining, you can have a full bar outside. You could have a kegerator. You could have uh, a whole, what do you call it? It's like an alcohol cabinet, basically. What else, what else is it? Yeah. 